Welcome, my beautiful people, to another episode of Dino Basics, where we dig up the basics on some of our favorite deceased beasts. My name is Logan, and today we look into the tiny Chinese stegosaur. Thank you to Peter Jones 819 for today's topic, the Chungkingosaurus. The earliest remains of Chungkingosaurus were first discovered in 1977, recovered from the Shaanxi Miao Formation, a rock quarry near the urban city of Shangqing, located in central China. These remains would later be described by Chinese paleontologists Dong Shi Ming, Zhou Shi Wu, and Zhang Yi Hong. Their description would assign this original fossil to a new genus and species, the Chungkingosaurus zhongbaensis. Since its establishment, the genus has changed very little over the following years, although some scientists have proposed additions. For example, in 2014, paleontologist Roman Yulansky suggested assigning two additional species to the genus, to be named Chungkingosaurus giganticus and Chungkingosaurus magnus. But both species were later decided to be nomen dubium, or non-existent, so the genus remains the same as its original description. Interestingly, Chungkingosaurus was not the only spiky boy from the Shaanxi Miao formation. In fact, three additional genera have been identified, including the Chialingosaurus, Gigant Spinosaurus, doesn't really roll off the tongue well, and Tuojiangosaurus. With so many stegosaurs in such close proximity, it has obviously been suggested that some of these genera may actually be more accurately combined into one. In the case of Chungkingosaurus, it has been suggested that Chialingosaurus could have been a fellow species of the same genus. However, while the two are comparable in size and general appearance, the two have been noted as having enough distinct characteristics to justify separate genera, particularly in plate shape and bone form. The name Chungkingosaurus is a pretty easy one to break down. Obviously, Soros for Lizard, you should know this by now. Unless you're new to the channel, in which case, what made you start with Chungkingosaurus of all things? Anyways, the prefix of Chongqing is in reference to the city of Shangqing, as the original fossil was found near this area. Similarly, the species name of Jiangbeiensis references the district that this species was discovered in, Jiangbei. Chongqingosaurus belonged to the Ornithischian grouping of dinosaurs, but more specifically belonged to the Stegosauria suborder. Surprisingly, we have never covered a stegosaur on the Dino Basics, but this group is undoubtedly one of the most distinct and recognizable among dinosaurs. The stegosaurs first appeared during the early Jurassic and continued to thrive until the early Cretaceous, being found across the Northern Hemisphere. They are most easily identified by their distinct backplates, varying in size and shape depending on the genus as well as often sporting a spiked tail, known as a thagomizer. Chungkingosaurus is possibly the smallest member of the stegosaur grouping, although this is not wholly conclusive due to varying size estimates. Chungkingosaurus probably would have measured approximately 6 feet or 2 meters in height, and reached lengths of almost 13 feet or 4 meters. The head of this creature was fairly narrow and held low to the ground. This compact construction may suggest Chungkingosaurus was adept at chewing and processing tough vegetation. Along the back of its heavily built body were the famed plates seen on many stegosaurs. While the exact number is unknown, a skeleton model created by the Shangqing Municipal Museum place the number at 14 pairs, or 28 total plates. These plates would be fairly thin near the edges, but remain fairly thick towards the middle. They were almost diamond in shape, 
running in pairs of two along their backs until reaching just before the end of their tails. The purpose of such plates on stegosaurs has been a classic debate in the field of paleontology. Due to their thick shape towards the middle, particularly in Chunkingosaurus, some have suggested these plates could be used as modified spikes, although it is more likely that these plates would not be their main defense, instead being used for display or thermoregulation. If you want defense, look no further than their devastating phagomizer. This spike tail is a common trait among stegosaurs, being swung at predators as a threat and being more than capable of puncturing skin. The phagomizer of Chunkingosaurus consisted of two pairs of upward-facing spikes, fairly stout in appearance yet still sharp to the touch. While this arrangement is fairly common among stegosaurs, what is more unusual was the inclusion of two additional spikes running horizontal to the body rather than vertical. Some scientists have called this formation a pincushion array of spikes due to their similarity to the sprawled appearance of pincushions. Furthermore, Dong suggested that the original phagomizer fossil had two more additional spikes facing vertically but were lost in excavation. Unfortunately, with only one recovered thagomizer, there's no way to confirm this, leaving a total of six confirmed spikes and eight only left to speculation. Speaking of speculative, some artistic reconstructions include two long shoulder spikes that ran alongside their body. These also have not been observed in official fossil records and instead seem to be based on similar structures in fellow stegosaurs they lived alongside, particularly Gigantspinosaurus. Again, that's like two separate words. How's that one name? Chunkingosaurus would have lived during the late Jurassic, almost 150 million years ago. Determined by location of Chunkingosaurus fossils, it most likely would have roamed throughout modern day central China. Based on geological data and recovered plant fossils, China during this time would have been a fairly tropical and warm environment. Due to the large size of the landmass, certain regions would experience harsher droughts or cooler temperatures depending on the time of year. But generally, China would have been home to thriving forests, flushed with vegetation and roamed by wildlife. This wildlife consisted of a wide range of dinosaurs, including herbivores ranging from the massive sauropod, Memetiosaurus, as well as fellow stegosaurs, like the previously mentioned gigant spon- I swear to Tuojiangosaurus. Other less amiable dinosaurs included the ferocious Yangshuanosaurus, who was believed to be the apex predator of the time, able to challenge some of the largest dinosaurs of its environment, making it more than a match for the scrappy Chungkingosaurus. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Chungkingosaurus is a very obscure dinosaur. It has had almost no significant appearances in modern media. Besides appearing in some independent toy lines, the only role this creature has been able to land is surprisingly the 2018 video game Jurassic World Evolution, appearing in the base game, and eventually returning in the 2021 sequel, Jurassic World Evolution 2. This lack of popularity is by no means an indication of irrelevance. Well, it kind of is, but hey, I think it's cool. This small stegosaur gave us a glimpse into the unique world of prehistoric China, sporting lethal defenses and captivating displays. It's important to acknowledge dinosaurs like this, as they undoubtedly were a chunk of our Earth's history. That's good to do for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment below what you think of Chunkingosaurus and if you've heard of this dinosaur before the video. I really like looking at the dinosaurs from across the world, but man, pronunciation becomes a real serious issue for these videos. My search history is completely filled with pronunciation guides by the end of the day. 
Next week, we actually have a bonus episode for Valentine's Day as we dive into the basics on the loving mother, Maya Sora. Thank you for your support and see you in the next video.